Well, I want to make this video. This time it's about it's about the people who completely disliked the video, which I'm guessing belongs to Mr. Beast. Listen, I know we I know that you guys and Mr. Beast viewers like love Mr. Beast and you don't think he he did anything to Matt Turner but you guys really don't know Matt Turner very well and the fact that you give him some hate comments and all that bullshit and trying to run him on social media like this. You know, every tweet you guys made because you're fans of Mr. Beast at least some of you you create a hateful message that Turner did not need every time he tweets because you think he lied and I however disagree with all of that I mean some of you accused him of lying and setting different death threats, which I'm going to show in just a few moments. I mean, imagine trying to bring turn down because he spoke his opinions. I mean, if you ask me, it's just insane. I mean, come on. Some of you Mr. Beast supporters who completely shit on Turner a lot. You guys have to stop doing that and just move on. I mean, it's been happening since, like, this, like, one year ago. The least you guys can do is not be antagonizing this person every time because he has his own opinion about Mr. Beast. I mean, really, it's not really good behavior on your part because you support Mr. Beast. If you support Mr. Beast, okay, but don't bring on hate to Turner. I mean, you guys act like little kids. You commented on that same video every single day. At the end of the day, most of you guys are like 12-year-olds, and all of you are really too stubborn to let it go. And maybe tries to stop commenting on his videos if you're if all you can do is comment hate comments on it. Just move on and be happy that he apologized and accepted.